Hello, Mrs. Bobby here, Module 4, Lesson 31. Today we're going to be looking at uh, dependent and independent events. We're going to be taking an equation and we're going to be putting it into a chart um, and choosing which one's going to be an independent, which one's going to be a dependent event. So let's see, Sarah is purchasing pencils to share. Each package has 12 pencils. The equation is N equals 12 times the number of pencils where N is the total number of pencils and P is the total packages, can be used to determine the total number of pencils Sarah purchased. Determine which variable is dependent and which one is independent. Then make the table. All right, so we have to go between three and seven packages. Okay, so first things first. We have an independent and a dependent event. So independent here would be the packages because we can go out and buy however many packages. But the total number of pencils will depend on the number of packages we buy. So how you say it can actually help you know the difference between the independent, which can stand alone, and the dependent that has to that that needs the other piece. So independent stands alone. So that's the number of packages I purchase. So this is going to be number of packages, and this is going to be the number of pencils. Okay, so um, here we go. So the number of packages, number of pencils. So it says for the number of packages, um, we're going to purchase between three and seven. So three, four, five, six, and seven packages. So we are basically taking this particular number of packages and we are times it by the 12 pencils that are in each pack. Because remember, this is the independent and the number of pencils will depend on the number of packages we buy. So dependent is the pencils and the independent is the packages. So 12 times 3, 36, 12 times 4, 48, 12 times 5, 60, 12 times 6, 72, and 12 times 7, 84. So that's how we do that one. Now let's look at this next one. It says Charlotte reads four books each week. Let B be the number of books she reads each week. And let W be the number of weeks that she reads. Determine which variable is dependent and which one is independent. Then write the equation to model the situation. <clears throat> okay. And then we make the table. So let's see. Um, so let W be the number of weeks she reads. So the number of books will depend on so books are dependent and the weeks are the independent because the number of books will depend on the number of weeks she reads so this will be the independent so this will be a number of weeks um and then this will be a um, number of books and we have to make an equation and it's four books per week so it says w will be the number of weeks um four books right and let's see um so four books that will equal four books per week and that will equal the total number of books so let's do this equals b i'll just call it that so um under six weeks so one week two weeks three weeks four weeks five weeks so one week we put in the one week and she's going to read four books if we do two weeks she's going to read eight books we put in three she's going to have 12 we put in four she's going to have 16 if we put in five She's going to have 20. All right. So just remember how that said. The number of books will depend on the number of weeks she reads. So 
the depends, the item you say right before the word depends um, is your dependent event. And the other one will be your independent. And as always, I love math and Diet Coke.